Welcome to Microsoft Windows 8 Beginner Level 1, brought to you by WindowsLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. This class is for the beginner who has little or no experience with Windows 8. This class is also good if you are upgrading from an earlier version of Windows and want to see what's new with Windows 8. There have been some major changes to the interface in the Start menu, and we'll cover most of them in this class. Now, this class is not for complete computer novices. If you have absolutely no experience working with a computer, this class might not be for you. If you don't know how to use the keyboard, how to use the mouse, how to left-click, right-click, click and drag, or if you want to learn about the parts of a computer, like what is a hard drive, what is a motherboard, then this class is not for you. This class assumes you have a basic working familiarity with computers in general. I do have a class for people that need the absolute basics. That's my Windows 101 class, and you can find that on my website at windowslearningzone.com. In today's class, we're going to get you started working with Windows 8. We're going to talk about the different Windows versions. We're going to learn about what's new in Windows 8. We're going to cover all the changes to the menu interface, including the new Start menu. You'll learn how to work with tiles and live tiles and the charms bar and all the new things they've added to Windows 8. We'll spend some time with the Windows desktop. We'll cover the differences between apps and programs. Apps are new in Windows 8. We'll go over some of the useful apps that are included with Windows 8 and I'll show you how to download apps from the Windows Store. There are lots of different things to configure in Windows 8, so we'll go through some of those. And I'll walk you through some of my custom changes, some of the things I personally like to change about Windows 8 to make it more usable. My courses are broken down into four groups, Beginner, Expert, Advanced, and Developer. My beginner courses are for novice users who have little or no experience with Windows. They are designed to give you an overview of the basic features and cover just what you need to know to be productive. The expert classes are designed for more experienced users who are already familiar with Windows and want to learn more of the power user techniques, customizations, and utilities. When you've mastered the expert classes, move up to the advanced lessons. You'll learn how to administer Windows, use more of the power tools, set up networking and security, and lots more. Finally, my developer level courses are designed to teach you how to get the most out of Windows with batch file programming, command line tools, PowerShell, and lots more. Each of my series are broken down into different numbered levels, starting with level one. Each subsequent level teaches you new and different topics in Windows, building on the lessons learned in the previous classes. When you've finished all the beginner classes, move up to Expert Level 1. Then when you've finished the Expert Series, move up to the Advanced and then Developer Series. If you have questions about the topics covered in today's lessons, please feel free to post them in my student forums online. If you're watching this course using my custom video player software or in the online theater on my website, you should see the student forum for each lesson appear in a small window next to or below the class videos, as long as you have an active internet connection. Here you will see all the questions that other students may have asked, as well as my responses to them, in the comments. I encourage you to read through these questions and answers as you start each lesson, and feel free to post your own questions and comments as well. Now let's take a more detailed look at what will be covered in today's class. In lesson one, we're going to learn about Windows 8. We'll learn what Windows is, the history of the different versions of Windows, the different editions of Windows 8, the extra features found in Windows 8 Professional, and the difference between 32-bit and 64-bit Windows. In lesson two, we're gonna talk about what's new in Windows 8. We'll cover the new features, the enhanced features. We'll talk about what's missing in Windows 8 that was in previous versions. We'll discuss whether or not you should upgrade an old machine to Windows 8, whether you should buy a PC, laptop, or tablet, and we'll discuss the upgrade specifications. In Lesson 3, we're going to learn all about the Start menu. We'll learn about the lock screen, logging on and off of Windows, tiles and active tiles, running and closing apps, the All Apps screen, pinning and unpinning apps to your start menu, moving and resizing tiles, 
and locking, signing out, and shutting down your computer. In Lesson 4, we're going to learn about the classic Windows desktop. We'll learn about icons and shortcuts, the taskbar and notification area. We'll find out where the start button went. We'll learn how to close, maximize, minimize, restore, move, and resize windows, and how to snap them on the left and right side of the screen. And we'll learn how to open WordPad. In Lesson 5, we're going to talk about the difference between Windows apps and Windows programs, or full applications. We'll go over some of the included apps that come with Windows 8. We'll see how to access the Windows Store. We'll perform an app search. We'll look for Solitaire, and we'll download it. We'll set up a Microsoft account, and we'll talk about the differences between a local account and a Microsoft account. And I'll show you how to cycle through open applications. In Lesson 6, we're going to begin going through some of the more useful apps that I like in Windows 8. We're going to learn Internet Explorer, both the desktop and the app version. We'll learn about the People app, where you track your contacts. The Mail app, where you can send and receive email. And I'll show you how to connect to an outside service, like Gmail, to sync your contacts and your emails and your calendars and such. In Lesson 7, we're going to continue looking at the useful apps in Windows 8, including Calendar, Maps, News, Sports, Weather, Travel, Music, Bing, and a lot more. In Lesson 8, we're going to finish our quick look at useful apps for today's class. We're going to talk about WordPad, how to write a letter, saving and loading a file to your hard drive, using the File Explorer, finding the Documents Library, using the Recycle Bin with deleted files, uploading your files to SkyDrive, and we'll look at the Calculator and Notepad apps. In Lesson 9, we're going to begin learning how to configure Windows. We'll learn about the PC settings and how to change them, the lock screen and the start screen, how to configure those, changing your password, setting up additional users so you can set up an account for the kids or a guest, notifications, search options, changing the date and time in your time zone, privacy settings, Windows update, and lots more. In Lesson 10, we're continuing on with configuring Windows. We're going to talk about the control panel, display resolution, mouse settings, Windows Defender, virus scanning, firewall, Windows update, desktop themes, screen savers, and lots more. In Lesson 11, I'm going to show you some custom changes that you can make to Windows. These are Rick's personal recommendations. I'm going to show you how to get your start button back with a third-party application called Classic Shell. We're going to turn on the quick launch bar. We're going to customize the taskbar the way I like it. And I'll show you some other recommendations of programs you should download and use that are very cool.